Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Hey, Arisu, how are you today? Thank you for coming to the stream. Sorry I'm a little bit late. I can say for the first time in a while, I can finally say for the first time in like three years, I'm home from work, and now I'm here to do my next job. And I just got a message from Steam telling me that my Steam Deck is being shipped. Great, that's at least some good news for today. Should be here in a couple days. I'm glad you could hear me loud and quill, clear, uh, loud and clear. I'm um, just letting VC Face run its recommended settings before, so I can set that up. Reset position, reset position, reset position. Minimize. Scene. Oh, that's fucked. One second. 1920 by 1080. Game capture is set to Anno. Let's fix this as well, shall we? Oops, that's a little bit too big. Uh, let's uh, fix that really quick. We are clear. Oh, I huh, almost forgot. My hands. We could go do a handless stream, but why bother? You know, we took the time and money to set up the ability to use jazz hands on stream. We must make every use of it when appropriate, when possible. Even if they are, in fact, quite jank sometimes. Happy Monday, everyone. Welcome once again to Law's Time. I'm your host, Lawler Hicks. We are once again playing a cyber cyberfunk um, action game simulator and badly written uh, visual novel, uh, Anno Mutationum. Less emphasis on the Anno and more emphasis on the mutations, which we have yet to see, but we have been led to believe that our main character is in fact evolving into a tentacle monster of some kind. Well, that's how I interpret the term entangle lattice anyway, you know, to in, in, to entangle. I, I, that, I know that's kind of a stretch, but I, it's all I have to work with right now. I'm still kind of recovering from having to work in an office for the first time in three years. But, you know, it was actually was not that bad. Um, probably because there wasn't a overly controlling manager constantly looking over my shoulder to see if I was looking up gay porn or not. Not that I ever was on company time. But um, that was a thing that was a thing for a good six years. I hated my life for six years working in corporate wage slavery under a very mean boss and getting uh, passed over for pay increases for several several times. But those days are long past and ever since the, pan the uh, meme-demic, I've worked from home and life has been better. Hopefully, they will be able to replace my a garbage ass workstation by tomorrow and tomorrow will be the last day I'll have to work in an office for the next few years. We are back with Cyberpunk Action Simulator. Um I totally have gotten lost in just playing the bartending minigame to grind money to buy weapons and supplies, but at this time I've literally played this minigame so many times that I grinded that I got like I got, um, I ended up purchasing this sick-ass lightsaber, which doesn't look like much because it looks exactly like the starter weapon, but believe me, it, uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be having 55 attack damage this early in the game. <laughs> yes, Wei, it is in fact Jill from Valhalla. <laughs> it even says Valhalla at the top, but this is not Valhalla. It's just the character of Jill from Valhalla. She even says, time to mix drinks and save lives. Hmm. Jill sure seems to go around, doesn't she? I wonder, I don't don't think that they're going to go back and retroactively add Anne into Valhalla, but that would be funny if they did. Anne, you need to wear your bartender outfit. 
outfit. Well, I already... You know what? Fine. To warm up, we're gonna go ahead and play... Uh, play some Bartender Simulator here, just to at least show off the game. Sure, I'll bartender for you, whatever. Um, how do I... You need to... Okay, but how do I change clothes into my bartender outfit? I literally forgot how to do this. It's not here. Alright, here we go. I wish I could run around as I'm in the bartender outfit. It's really cute. Hmm. <laughs> you forgore or what? Forgore or what? Alright, Chad, this is it. This is the bartending minigame. We are, this is pretty much the entire game. We're just playing Bartender Simulator. Uh. Fuck. I'm terrible at this game. Actual trash. Why do I even try? She. <laughs> uh. Wow. Yep, this is uh, this is Endo Mutationum. This is the whole game right here. Yep, totally. I wonder if you even get anything for beating this mini game on hardest. Honestly. So right now, the only reason I'm doing it is so I can make some money. Fuck. Fuck. No, you forgot. I for gore. Indeed, I did. I got a B. <laughs> I made absolutely no money. I did so poorly. Damn. What a tough crowd to please. Am I right? Red, red, blue. Okay. Shaken, not stir, god damn it. Okay. I'll try that again. Wow, I fucking suck. Uh again. Perfect. Cool. Perfect. Uh red, red, blue. Shit! All right, again, again, again. Come on, baby, come on. There we go. Blue, blue, blue. Ha! Ah! God damn. Okay, and oh, perfect. Damn it. Did I even make any money that round? I. Made some money that round. I actually got 120. So, wait. What am I supposed to... How how am I supposed to, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me adjust my gaming setup here. I'm going to lean back. I'm going to put the... There we go. That's, that's more... I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Uh, how's the webcam looking? Okay, that works. I don't know why I had it all the way up there to begin with. Once more. Do we get anything from Master? I wonder how many... It doesn't- the game doesn't say how much you're supposed to get to reach master level. <sighs> Fuck! Red- okay. Ah, uh, still good, but not great. Bad. Why am I actual trash at this game? Uh, red, red, blue. 
Oh, that's not that bad. Ah! Red, red, red. Ah! Oh, I managed to get one more 100 with the last one. No worries. Try again, Anne. 500 that time, actually. Hey, I got an S. Cool, I actually made money. But how much do you need to get to get Master? I wonder if I should, like, look that up or something. Ah! That was a good? Okay, whatever. Shit. That was also good for some reason. That was also good for some reason. bit better that time actually let's see if we can get 600 shit shit this is definitely not a Sasa stream chat imagine being Sasa That was good. That wasn't so bad. I say as I casually fuck up and it several more cocktails. You probably need to have zero to satisfy customers. Hmm. It's a good idea. At least, at the very least, it's a good thing to shoot for. Ah! Well, I'm definitely not getting it this round, that's for damn sure. Yeah, there's no way. I think I did worse that time. Patience is the key to success. You'll get it. Tip zero. I think you might be right actually, because hmm. Uh is there a way to get out of these things? There is not a way to get out. So you're Pretty much have to play the entire set all the way through. Ah! Now, to be clear, part of the reason I'm doing this bartending minigame is actually so I can make money to spend later and on in, later on in the game, because I blew all my money. Um, on this web on these weapons more or less and the game doesn't exactly give you that many opportunities to make money except for literally selling junk that you get and it's literally junk it's stuff that you can't actually do anything with you're just meant to send it to salvage to the salvage guy and last time I streamed this I was so anal about playing this and beating the veteran difficulty that I just kept playing it over and over and over again until I finally won and in doing so I ended up making like 3,000 credits or something so you know it paid off in the end but it was still fucking shit it's still very annoying <laughs> That, and I'm not gonna lie, the, um, 
The best part of this game so far is the actual combat gameplay, but everything else up to it, like the actually looking for clues and uh, reading dialogue and stuff, is actually very piss poor. It's so poor, in fact, that I'm annoyed every time I go through it. It's just mostly not engaging. There's a whole, the there was a quest right before this that was fairly spooky. Um, it had this whole Etheridge vibe to it, but um. The way it's portrayed, I felt like it was... I'm just going to look up what the requirements are for this because I don't want to feel like I'm wasting my time. And this game is not very good about, well, respecting time, to be honest. Mutation, then. What does it say here? Bartending minigame. Uh... Trophy guide and roadmap. Okay. So, finding the Neko Cats, I'm not going to bother looking up because you can do that on your own because that's pretty much just a pick them up simulator. But what I need to know is, so there is something for completing the highest difficulty of bartending. But... Oh. So in order to b get the uh, perfect on the master level, you do need to get a score of 700 and you must serve only perfect drinks. Seven perfect drinks. That's insane. The highest I've gotten so far was what? 400? 550? Hey Luke. Uh, today is kind of a mess. Workstations fucked up. Had to go into the office for the first time in three years. Thank you for continuing to the uh, heart, sheer heart attack challenge. That should be getting pretty close. 53k. So, doing some quick maths. That's uh, 17,000 away from having to force, getting to force me to play a horror game of your choice. That should be fun. Uh, JK. So I can only get make perfect trick perfect drinks. Great. That's beautiful. That's totally fun. I'm already going to fail this one. How do, is there a way to easily get out of there is not? Yeah. Apparently this used to be harder. At one point it used to be that every time you fuck up you lose 20 points, but now it's just where you don't get any points for a fuck up. But this is still a scuffed run, for sure. Don't worry, we're not going to spend the entire session just playing this minigame. But hey, it's still better than playing Pong, am I right? I was playing the Pong game for a while too, but then I had to stop when I saw that the computer's uh, paddle was moving faster than my own. So it's intentionally stacked against you, and that's really bad. No, I already did a bar. Already have did made half of the last stream purely bartending, and I can't imagine it. That was. I can't imagine that anyone enjoyed that. So I'm just gonna do this one more time, and we're gonna continue the rest of the cyberpunk story. Two. Four. Fuck! Alright.
five. Yeah, fuck it. Time to stop wasting time. No worries. Try again, Anne. Even if I was doing this under the pretense of, oh, at least I'm making money, this is going to get very old very fast. Let us continue. Oh, before we continue, actually. I have to ask chat. What outfit am I wearing for today's stream? The uh, nightclub outfit? The standard sportswear outfit? Just wear the combat suit the whole time. Schoolgirl outfit. Chinese dress. Office lady. Punk rocker. Alienware branding. I don't know what the fuck this is. This is what this one looks like. I don't know what to say about it. It's like the uh, nightwear outfit, except with less skin, I suppose. Or do I dress up as a freshman athlete the rest of the stream? What do y'all think? Oh, uh, zero to ten. Can't see myself in the mirror. Not much to do here either, actually. There's our dumbass brother that we need to go find. This is my dad. Your dad is a robot, evidently. Not gonna read that right now. I don't know about you, but I think this dress is quite nice. I'm kind of tempted to just play today's session entirely dressed like this. She, like, switches into a power suit for the combat suit when it's fighting time anyway. But I also like the Chinese dress. For reasons. If there are no other takers, I think I'll just continue the rest of the game like this. Alright. <laughs> What are we supposed to be doing next anyway? Alright. We're going to Prairie 42 it looks like. Let's check to make sure there's no um, side quests in this area. There are not. I do. I too enjoy women in cool outfits. Uh, side quest progress. Let me check Noctis City really quick just to see if there's any side care, any uh, side quests there I can do. Because I'm supposed to go to a burger bar or something here and buy a burger for the person living in the manhole there. And I could have sworn he said that it was back in Scop City, but I was just there and I didn't see any. So I don't know if I'm just dumb or what. But I am not against checking a second time, just to be sure. Hmm. 
so I need to go to our burger joint and ask for this uh, five layer beef patty or hamburger with caviar. If I can find it. I thought he said it was in Scop City, but I just went there and there was no burger, boi burger joint. So I'm hoping it's over here instead. Venus fashion, chip ass, chip ace, I mean, not chip ass. The police are blocking off entrances to this area to give the, to artificially increase the size and length of this game. Could I be wrong? Could it be, is the burger bar in one of these little stalls? Because you know, I could have sworn I walked past one earlier, but they didn't give me the option to buy anything from them. The future of VTubing, folks, right here. Buzz Buzz Onion Ring. Well, that was unexpected. So there's a burger advertisement up there, right? A huge surprise just now. I love women called Chips Anuf. Damn, she kind of cute. Indeed she is. Indeed she is. Uh, Arg, this is so awkward. I'll show you awkward. So, for some reason, we could buy stuff from this store. Livestream. I get it, live stream. But it's not what I was looking for. And this is a gun store, I think. Or... These must be, must be pachinko parlors or something. Emergency treatment to pharmacy. Meanwhile, there is a live 2D, there's a um, Hollow Live show going on here. Vending machines. Alright, let's check the other side. Other side of this world really quick. Opens our power. ROMs is where we bought ROMs earlier. What the hell is this? How to live in a cyber age? Cyber cultus. Henderson. Pectoria Pugni. I guess these must be city states or something. It won't let me go there now. At least for not right now. I'm trying to find this burger joint. Kiss Club. Legs, thighs, if you will. It's definitely not in the clubhouse. Uh, fine, we'll check Scop one last time. And then we'll go ahead and continue the game, I guess. <laughs> What's this guy eating? Dango? What the dog doing? These androids talk? Hmm, such riveting conversation. Alright, let's skedaddle.
Where did I park my car again? Here we go. Flying off now. Fly away now. Fly away now. Fly away. I will never get tired of this uh, loading screen though. Very Blade Runner-ish. Make would probably make a really nice uh <laughs> nice. Would probably make a nice um um wallpaper engine wallpaper to be honest. If this area gives you night city vibes, I think it's supposed to. That's totally not me almost getting run over. So this is clearly a burger joint, right? But there's no one here to talk to by the burger. I don't know what I'm missing. This is a dead end. I can't go any further than that. So, um, and I don't know why, but these characters look oddly familiar. How about the burger shop behind the alley? Okay, so I think that's a clue, right? Behind the alley, there's a burger shop around here somewhere. I can't believe the stream has switched from bartending simulator to looking for one single fucking burger shop. There's a hap snap up there. We cannot get past it, though. Underground fellow over here is asleep. And they're not going to let us get past there. Auto shop. So discard burger down here. Bunch of random shit for sale. I'm really curious how you're supposed to get over there. Or even if you could get over there. Like, is this whole area just the only playable portion of the game of the uh, map? Or are these supposed to open up at some point? It said behind the alley, and well, that's behind the alley. Killer Templar is coming. Hi. This one sells uh, cakes for 100 credits. Which you will not purchase because we don't need any right now. I wonder if this is the place that you're talking about. Do you have to bathe under here for three hours? Wait, there's a cyber neko just sitting there the whole time? Well, it's mine now. How are them apples? Knowing my luck, I'm probably just being really dumb right now, and I'm sure the solution for where this mysteriously hidden burger joint is will become apparent when I least expect it. God, I hope so. Is there a way to access the other alleyway from here? No? Is there any secret exits in these buildings? No. 
can't enter the office of vigilance. Don't even know what this is. All right, one last check. Let's talk to that couple again. How about the burger shop behind the alley? Now I've never seen it open. What burger shop behind the alley? Fly Auto. A random store. It's the burger shop behind the alley. Now I... <laughs> oh yes, it isn't. The burger shop behind the alley is totally a burger shop behind the alley. That looks like an ice cream shop behind the alley. Can I tell these guys to like move? I'm gonna feel really dumb if the reason why I can't find this thing is because it's neither it's because it's in neither of these cities, it was instead in the new place I'm supposed to go to next. Freeway 42 or whatever. Let's go ahead and pop over there and continue the game, I suppose. What crazy hijinks will we get up to this time? It's always raining here in Night City, I mean not Night City, but Scop City. Oh. That's kind of a rough landing. Based on Lynn's info, this must be the place. This is a pretty desolate area, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like the Midwest. Many places were abandoned after the Mechanica virus decimated a lot of people. This must be one of those. Let's find the underground entrance Lynn gave us. Route 42. This definitely... I definitely... You know, this almost kind of seems like a genre shift. Getting some Silent Hill vibes here. Even the music's kind of oppressing. Oh, you can actually walk... You can actually... Travel all the way back here, huh? That's interesting. Cyberpunk to normal ass city, yeah. It kind of looks like a town from the Midwest, honestly. Just from the architectural design. At first, I thought Freeway 42 was a reference to something else, like um, that one indie game. What's over here? Biological research base exit? What the fuck? Live forever? I think that's supposed to say live forever. Ooh. Look at all this junk I'm finding. You also notice that my suits automatically change to combat mode. Yo, is this person alive? He's just sort of chilling there, I guess. That's actually kind of fucked up when you think about it. He has become immortal. Sure you have. So much for that. Radiator Springs? Huh, good comparison. Notre Settlement needs your help. I have not even played uh, Fallout, 40, Fallout 64, 42, 69. 
76, right? 76. What in the world is this? That is truly an unusually shaped gas mask. I've only been in this sec in this area for like a few minutes and I already love it. Go fuck cyborg. Mecha arm. What year is it? Is it the year that Scop was founded or the year the president took office? But Steel knows no fear. The mechanical virus is rapidly spreading in my limbs. I'm on the way to becoming a cyborg superior to humans made of flesh and bone. The evolution is almost complete. It's a bit cold though. I might need a temperature modification unit. So basically it's a Borg virus. Whoa, he is missing an arm. Bro, I haven't seen a girl as clean as you for a long time. Darling, stay away from him. Ah, look at yourself. It must be hard to keep your body fit, right? If you become mechanized like me, you won't have to worry about it anymore. You can even become whatever you want to be. No, thank you. I don't need it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> fuck's going on here a special ball used in an arcade game called baseball a dendrobium eating a large amount of it can lead to hallucinations standard grenade for throwing for exploding things i just got an achievement called i love stuff not sure about that chief mm. holy shit are people here all infected with the virus? Well, some of them, yes. Others are infatuated with the power that comes with mechanical modification. Why don't you go to the hospital? Mechanization is not that hard to deal with nowadays. You think we have enough money for a cure? Mechanization isn't really a bad thing. It causes some problems, but also brings some benefits. So, are you all settling in here? Yes, welcome to our humble home, the mechanical garden. Um, all right. Am I handsome? Who knows my pain? What the fuck is that? Holy shit. That's some real Borg shit going on now. No, actually. It's not the Borg. What it reminds me of is, um, is that, uh, one issue of the Justice League. Or was it Batman Beyond, where Brother I, which was created by Super, but created by Batman and Mister Miracle, went insane and started transforming all the humans and all the superheroes into robots, and they pretty much look like this. Very nasty. It looks like an abandoned drainage facility. Hmm. Explore the sewers. The game says. So underneath Freeway 42, there is a gun vendor that has a blueprint I need to get stuff from. And I also need to explore this place because of reasons. These maps sure are small, huh? That's not how you spell the word all, though. Alright. Alright, Sirisu. Thanks for coming by. Have a good night. What's going on in this area? It's 
Strange iron shard covered in dust or whatever. Oh shit! That was kind of spooky. A grave robber. Random screws. Hmm. Interesting. Some ra random vending machines sit down here as well. Hex screw, another weird gas mask. <laughs> Nothing yet. Gee, I wonder what's down here. A loading screen. But why is it going upwards when we were going downwards? Or is this from below? That was very anticlimactic. Ten years ago, huh? What is this room? More ammunition, which means that we're going to have combat fairly soon. Usage nose, superior worker. Stem shot. Damn it, they dock my salary again. It's about time I expose their monkey business. Come on, human experimentation when the mechanical virus is raging? How tasty those crabs and shellfish in the sewers used to be. But ever since the arrival of those researchers, the crabs are no longer tasty and they grow bigger and bigger. Some of my body's buddies even died after eating mutated crabs. Who eats sewer crabs anyway? Uh oh. What's what's her face? Ayane, the masked lady again. Uh, what? I didn't see anybody at all. Darling, are you getting tired? Wait, what? She can't see her? Yes. Maybe, but let's keep moving. Ready, player one? <laughs> Seriously? That's a hell of a reference. More of this. That does not do anything. Power cord. Safety notices. Oh, composite metal. What's in here? <laughs> A toy gun? A tool set. This might come in handy. Lockpick set? Interesting. What could that be for? Tacos. How you doing, Frankenstein? Welcome to the stream. Yo! Is that... Is that what I think it is? What in the world is he tossing around in his hand?
I want to say I know what that is, but I don't think I'm allowed to say what that is on Twitch. It does involve nuts, however. You're hopping back and forth between myself and Mai. Mai went online as well. Let me pop her up on my phone so I can do so I can both moderate her channel and stream at the same time. <laughs> Devour everything in Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. Now then, to continue with our own stream. Thanks for visiting, or take, thanks for ch ch taking the time to visit me as well as my though, Frankenstein. That's really nice of you. <laughs> I'm surprised I was even able to stream today, honestly. I didn't think I was going to get home in one t in time. Oh, we're entering combat mode. You can tell because... Yep. Hold up. Is the range in this thing shorter? Hmm. Let's see this. So, the Harden. Okay. The Quartet. And the SVD2, which I've already modified with several pieces. Hey Pastel, how are you today? I actually managed to get home somehow so I can play with y'all. Which is ultimate pog, for sure. You're just in time. Gone past the boring part of actually trying to continue the game, the uh, story mode of this game, and we're actually gonna get into some combat, I'm feeling. Oh man, those are some huge ass crabs, what the fuck? Scary looking motherfuckers too, what the hell? Oh shit, really? Ow, 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 ow. Oh my god! Ow, 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 ow. Ow, what the shit? Oh well, thanks for coming by anyway, and thank you for contributing. Thank you for contributing further to the sheer heart attack. Um, redeem 55k out of 69. We're getting close, chat. We're getting very close. Oh my god. I'm also gonna die fairly soon if I don't heal. There we go. We're healed up. Ayane? About earlier. What's up, darling? Uh, never mind. 
Help me check this out. Gee, where are we? Gee, where are we now? Gee, I wonder what this is. A save point? Naturally, we're gonna jump in. Oh. You can also teleport here, huh? Teleport to... The Noctis basement. happening that's interesting this is like a smaller version then and we are back here for whatever reason wonder if Swinard's still alive Radioactivity and baked beans? That's oddly specific. I wonder if Swinerd's dead for good or if he just ran away. There are a lot of burgers just all over the place, in spite of my difficulty in acquiring burg. I can't help but feel like I'm missing something here, like the burg is nearby and I'm just too dumb and cannot find it. Hey Orion, thank you so much for the lurk. How you doing today? I've spent a great deal of time looking for a bloody burger bar. Uh, I could be better, I wish. Um, pretty much had to work in the office for the first time in a, in like three years. Because my workstation here at home finally collapsed on itself. But I think they'll be working on a replacement by tomorrow. They're really cheap and disposable, which is part of the reason it didn't last very long to begin with. And it was kind of interesting working in an office again for the first time. After several years of not. I just sort of uh, picked a workstation and just chilled there. Okay, Chan. If I had to drive an hour to my office, I'd quit or request to be removed from the project. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I did not enjoy having to drive to and from work during the snow and all that shit. Mood, right? Do you work from home nowadays as well, or...? to figure out where this is it's gonna be bugging me forever until I figure until I wait a minute wait a goddamn minute what is this an unknown room where an idol's voice is coming from hmm interesting they promised that the location would change like a month into working at the far at the far location and they lied and then a pandemic happened and bailed them out. Damn. I'm sorry that happened to you. Well, at least you're in a better situation now, I'm assuming.
Ah, the pandemic was helpful in your case. Funny story, after we were sent home, or sent home, my place of work actually burned down. Well, it didn't burn down, so say, but it did catch on fire. So the office I was actually working in this time ended up being a... An older office that I used to work in. That had not burned. Yeah, there was like a electrical fire or some shit. And the funny thing is, the office I used to work in was cursed from the start. It was always having problems from HVAC system issues to having non-working doors to having steps that were dangerously icy, even with salting. All kinds of stupid shit. So, when it burned, uh, when it fucking burned, I was not surprised. I thought it was actually kind of funny, actually. It was very convenient that we just happened to have been sent home to work from home when it happened, right before it happened. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, let's continue, I suppose. Don't mind me. Just occasionally checking, just occasionally checking the uh, chat in my stream to make sure that no one's up to no good. You know how it be. You know what? The idol is probably on the other side of... Oh. Oh. This is interesting. Alright. Thanks for the lurk. Have a great one. Hmm. Nothing over here? Am I missing something? There's probably a secret or two around here somewhere. Knowing my luck. According to this... There is a building here you can access where the idol, quote unquote, is making music. But how do I get inside there is the question. May I have to like hack it or something. Hmm. It's you and you're up to no good. You want a fisting? <laughs> Alright. Enough fooling around. Hey, still, while you guys are here. Actually, no, while both of you guys are here. the cyber necos to buy costumes so I could spend six of them to purchase a retro made and three of them to buy simple sportswear that's cool what do you guys want me to wear for the rest of the game the freshman athlete memories of dawn alienware graf punk graffiti office lady Stick with the Chinese dress, the schoolgirl outfit, wear the combat suit they wear, her default outfit, or the uh, club outfit.
Yes, you were. You were the one that picked this one last time. Do you want to keep with it or choose something else? Need to get a drink of water as well. While I'm waiting. Oh, shit. It's the only right option. Fair enough. Emerald once again wins by default. I still cannot figure out where this burger bar is. I'm sure it'll pop up again later, and I'm just being dumb. Wait. If we have money, maybe we could just go to Chip Ace over here. Analytical chip. I don't think we need to use any of these. And the music in this store is giving me brain cancer. What the fuck? Oh, yes. Mamba. Still requires quite a few things, though. Really like this image. It's not letting me view it again, though, which is sad. Let us continue. Why is that letting me go downstairs? Here we go. Not as good as it, not as, not as good as it could be or should be. I don't, to be honest, um, I don't know what it was like on launch, so I cannot compare the two. I can confidently say that the combat is enjoyable. However, it's a chore to read through the dialogue, which makes me cringe inside. The story's pacing is very bad. Everything else about this game, like the graphics and the combat, and the voice acting is quite good, surprisingly. 
The music's hit or miss, though. And I really like the loading screens. I also uh, maybe have spent a little too much time in the bartending simulator that has Jill, has Jill from um, Valhalla in it. Oh shit! Ow! Fuck! I forgot. There is there is a uh, dodge button in this game, and I forgot which button it is. That's jump. I legitimately forgot which button is the dodge button. Shit. Um. Oh, it's L. Okay. I gotta say though, I never get tired of using this thing. But I'm already almost dead. Totally my fault though. Oh, what's this? And hey, it's a holo it's a holocron. Lynn was right. Seems like Ryan's been here. We're on the right track. See ya, Pastel. Thanks for coming by. Hello? Testing. Testing. I'm Ryan Flores. If Thank you. Anyone finds this recording. Please give it to my sister. Her name is Anne. Anne Flores. The whole situation is more complex than I had thought, but I won't give up. I'm going to keep searching for N540 to help my sister. Based on what the Prophet told me, this place is more dangerous than I thought, but I had to check it out in person. Wow, such riveting details, such plot. I'm not going to even take the stupid key with me. Let's see what we can pick up here. Oh! The map has gone bigger. Much bigger. Here is a hacking, a uh, lock picking in the game. I forgot how to do the lockpicking minigame. Here we go. Uh, how does this work again? All right. This is a low level lock too, so no big deal. A gunshot? Oh no. What could possibly be happening in this giant spacious room? It's somewhere nearby. I'm pre Okay. Let me check it out. Uh, this room's a lot bigger than I gave it credit for. Okay, I think I can hear the shots now. Oh, that's cool. You actually can track the gunshots and it sends the wave of sound towards you in tracking mode. Found a dead body. Damn, son. Got some more spooky elder shit going on here. Another spooky puzzle. She looks like a either a guard or a police officer of some kind. What fresh hell awaits us, I wonder. Game coin. Another gas mask. Danger, Will Robinson. Looks like it's been encrypted with special character patterns. To crack this, we definitely need to find some clues about the characters. 
Gee, you don't say. Um, oh, shit. Uh, hmm, this one. Wait. All right. Damn, these things keep coming. I can't keep up. Em, be careful. What are these? Uh, I did not realize that we were playing a hentai game. That's what it's starting to feel like. Oh shit. And that thing has tentacles, and it has shields. I was only kidding, game. I was just kidding. This is the wrong platform for that kind of material. We're not on palm for right now. Ow, shit. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, heal, heal, heal. Oh, man. Is the creature lagging? It is bite the grubs, ask about the situation. I've taken a bear paw from its cold dead hands or tentacles. Another favor, huh? It's worm time. Alright, we got a special key. We are still looking for this thing as well. Main missions there. Let's see what's on the other end of this hall first before we go any further. Teleporting to this place looks to me like I barged into his bunk and disappeared again. This is so weird. The game does have a problem with... Well, not really a problem. It does seem to be all over the place, story-wise. The writing is still very amateurish at best, unfortunately. I don't know what day it is. We haven't been down here for a long time, and this already seems like the end of the road. What kind of regret? What kind of regret not believing the words of that black market? I kind of regret not believing the words of that black market guy. Why did I come here? Starving to death on the streets of Noctis would have been be a better way to go. Is there really any treasure in those man-eating bugs? It looks like before I get the treasure, I need to pay with my precious life first. Great! I finally found it. There are things in those worms, that, things that explode. Ha 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 ha, they kill each other too. What a bunch of idiots, ha ha ha. Besides, there are actually coins. Leo got wounded again. What's an old timer like him doing here anyway? I'm not splitting the coins he got today. Is he talking about the game tokens I've been picking up this whole time? Alright, well, you can leave whenever you want, man. 
I don't think anything is keeping you down here. An advanced crypto key. A mini drone, which I'm going to tear apart for parts. Bolts. Alright. Can I talk to this guy? No, that's it? No options to... I wonder, am I supposed to be able to, like, give him, like, a healing item or something? I didn't use all my healing items, did I? No, I still got one left. My friend in Harbor Town had all made their fortunes by selling those magical coins. I can't stay in Noxus any longer trying to survive on the street. It's only a matter of time before I get run over by a fact show pygmy. My brothers all escaped here in the end. I'll be fine. Why are there bunk beds down here in the middle of nowhere anyway? All right, let's go. Let's get, let's get going. Let us skedaddle. Using a special key to get past the lock over there. Open this container. Ventilation room maintenance employee. I can't stay in this hellhole any longer. Why the hell did I agree to come repair this place? Why do we need to pay the price for those capitalist weird experiments? Chinese Com Communist Party intensifies. Let's go. Alright, so we have to go all the way over there. In the meanwhile, we're gonna go investigate. No trespassing, it says. Great, thanks. Noted. There's a broken down car here, it looks like. No trespassing? Awesome. Well, where can I trespass then? Hmm? Game? Come on! You really use the trespasser right now, right now. Right about now. Okay, what waits awaits us down here, I wonder? I don't have any special jump options, so I can't jump up there, unfortunately. What lays beneath? What awaits me down here? Ah, platforming. Excellent. Oh my god! That's not spooky at all. What the shit is that? That was fairly satisfying though. Putting this, where am I putting this chief? Over there. Very basic platforming. 
not a bad thing. Doesn't need to be special, you know. Oh, what the fuck? No way, are we doing this robot shit now? Are we doing this uh, zombie shit now? The Holy Spring guides us. Later stages of the mechanical virus turn people into barely intelligible monster-man hybrids. Yeah, he looks pretty fucked. Now then. A heat sink. Oh, another save point and a teleporter pad. Mm, probably. Ah! Thank you for the throw redeem Frankenstein. <laughs> we got quite a, quite a few gombits actually. 87 or so. Oh! So you are supposed to be like hacking things then, huh? Totally forgot that I have a shield as well. Can't even buy anything, actually. Uh, not much. We are underground. We... I've run into some interesting folks. I was attacked by tentacle monsters. Um... I may have to fight zombie robot peoples fairly soon. You know, the good stuff. Check this guy out. So you just came back in time for the good stuff, I'm hoping. How do I block again? Jump. Attack. Dodge roll. Okay, so O is block. Yep, tentacle monsters. You'll see what I mean. There's probably going to be more popping up soon, I'm sure. I could be wrong, though. Whoa, corn man! What are you doing out here? Oh my God, corn man is down is down in the underground for some reason. All for the rise of growth of corn and corn. Even in these days, with Anderson, FT, and Titanus rolling the markets, there's still people chasing their dreams. One corn, one dream, we say. Our corn shop is always ready for customers anywhere and anytime. He's literally a man made of corn. Yes, you heard that right. A corn man. How does that make you feel on the inside? You could say that he is a rather corny character. hate myself <laughs> anyway um i don't feel like drinking his corn juice right now um now then let us check our fi check our uh ability our weapons at the moment here we got another place here for entering a chip, socket chip. This increases the critical of the big, big boy by 10%. Nice. 
Don't have any more ch socket chips for the main weapon. <laughs> you thought of corn, the, the band. Unfortunately, I am not talking about the band. I am talking about corn. A corn. He's a very corny man. Look at he'll talk your ear off. Oh my god. Ooh. We're here. The location that Thomas gave us. Nobody's here. Maybe they're hiding upstairs. Let's go find out. Shit, this dungeon just gets bigger and bigger, doesn't it? Uh, what's your dirty joke about corn? By all means, feel free to degenerate yourself. We're all degenerates here anyway. A cup noodle box. This smells like a boss battle, chap. My body is ready. My body is ready to be brutalized by this. Oh shit! Bloody worms. I'll restore the power. You eat off his cob. Now we must defend- we're playing a tower defense, folks. We have to defend the power generator from these worms. Should be a fairly easy proposition if I say so myself. But you never know with these hands. Oh, for fuck's sake! What the shit is that? Woo! It is- oh my god. I gotta say though, it is beautiful. But I once again must reiterate that this does look like it could be a game on DL sites. I wouldn't be surprised if someone made a mod eventually. Oh my god! What, what grenade? The fuck are you talking about a grenade? Thank you for the hydro redeem. You shuck him off? Oh my god. Uh, you go do that. Frankenstein, thank you for the hydrate redeem. It was sorely needed. Now then, let us continue this epic boss battle against a non-H uh, monster. Totally. Reloading! Oh my god. It appears that the gun does not do any- Ow, shit. Ow. <laughs> so, does the game want me to use grenades? Is that what it's telling me? Why did I just use one of my stim shots? I'm fucking stupid. Oh my god! It's trying to bore me. That is not the direction I wanted to point at. Stop fucking up the generator, you assholes. Oh my god. Oh god. Alright, this is getting kind of ridiculous. I think the boss is getting desperate, chap. I don't know about you. Ah, oh, shit. Something tells me I'm supposed to shoot those with guns. It's just a... It's just a feeling I had, you know? Are you fucking serious? You were actually... There was actually one of those where you had to escape. Who made this game? <laughs> I know who made this game, but...
it do, it really does feel like a DL side game now when you see shit like that. All right. We must do the boss battle once more. Yeah, the generator is on. Worms again. Alright, well, it looks like we're in for a worm of a time. I don't that I know that, that didn't make any sense whatsoever, but I'm I'm sticking with you know. Alright, okay, cool. Awesome, awesome. Whoa. The fuck was that? Is it charging itself? Ow? These goddamn worms. Oh no, 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 Ow. Ah, oh, shit. That was a terrible idea. That was totally my fault. Oh, my God. Can you freaks get off the freaking... Oh, my God. No, stop healing. God damn it. Is it flying? What just happened? Can't believe this is the continuation of metal units. Oh. I thought this was a cutscene. This is not a cutscene. Cool. This is girls' front line now, isn't it? Uterus. Press F to pay respects. Press F to jump. Press F to climb. Audio quality in this game is very poor. Uh, hmm. that's not spooky at all. Well, 
That certainly was a thing that occurred. What the shit is this? He's giving us a thruster. One last time? What do you mean by that? Now we can double jump. There's quite a few places in this game that I've seen that I wasn't able to access because I figured you could jump over them, but now it's been confirmed. But which direction are we going? Let's see what's over here first. I have a feeling that's not the last we've seen of Mr. Vor. <sighs> How much you want to bet that Anne is actually some sort of bioweapon? That's usually how these things go, right? This music's giving me some very synthetic vibes. Synthetic as in the game, of course. Alright. I wonder if we can go up here. We can! Oh, let's see what's on floor 3. What's on floor three? Still need to find this weapon blueprint. No idea where it is though. Really wish the game would tell me if I'm on the right track, but I know it can't be that easy, right? Oh, well, I was not expecting it expecting that actually. There's, like, stuff growing on the walls and shit. So, what was the purpose of this room? Is it just to find a cyber neko? If there's no reason to investigate a dead body, then why do you give the option to do so? Weird. Let's try out floor one now, please. See what lays beneath. Oh, it's just a shortcut, okay. What kind of fluctuations? I got a bad feeling about this. I don't know why, but I feel like something's gonna happen. Horton Man is still here, though. So yeah, buying the corn juice is quite obviously buying restorative items, which I will not do. Hit. 
Uh oh. It's Mystery Woman X. Now she is here to once again give us plot exposition. Hinterland? Anomalies? What is all this? Most importantly, how did she know about my dream? How indeed? Who is this woman? Why are my com why do my combat boots also have so turn out to be stiletto heels? We must save. Do we upgrade talents? Hmm. None of these things are particularly useful. Could really use that, actually. Aha! Ho ho! Vintage gold coin. This one means business. Oh shit. Yep. Here we go. Looks like it's asleep right now though. Very asleep. I guess it's an optional boss fight. Who would have thought, right? Oh my god! So much for the one that meant business, huh, chap? Didn't last very long, but it was satisfying for what it was. I knew there was something up here. Another gold coin. Cool. Who do I even give these gold coins to? Before that, let's go check out these other rooms. Another bunk bed area. Spinning cone toy. That's cute. A gamer coin. Ready player one. Another gold coin of dubious use. My friends in Harbor Town all made their fortunes by selling those magical coins. I already read this one. They just copy and pasted it from the previous area. A known ticket. 
Some stores have peculiar rules by requiring special tickets to enter. It looks like a $10 bill. I guess that's the point. Whoa. This is the next part of the game, isn't it? Uh, let's go save first, then. It appears that there is something over here. Curious and curiouser. I believe I found all the count all the gold coins, right? So I don't really need to find a pharmacist for testing. So okay. I'm still looking for the weapon blueprint, which is somewhere in this build somewhere in this game. I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Hopefully. Hey, old man, are you still angry? Aha! So he just gives you his remaining meds? Okay. It's a bit strange, but whatever. And why is it I could turn this... Oh, I used to be able to turn this on and off for no reason. Weighty combat, but very simple combat. Now we must save. Okay. Let's get to it. Why is it that you can run, you run a lot faster in combat areas than you do in the basic area? Oh, thank you for the throw redeem. Did it have to be a sandal, though? How rude. Of course. Well, I can't argue with that logic. What fresh hell awaits us here? I know we're gonna be. I know we're gonna have to fight that weird, uh, out of place hentai monster again. I mean, there's even eggs all over the place. Because I saw it fly off. It like used its mouth to. Whatever it is, 
It looks toxic. Let's try to find a way to get rid of it first. We'll have to find another way. Maybe I can use the nearby fans. Let me check. Or... Hmm. Could do that. Oh shit. Stop moving around so I can slice you in half. You hentai reject. That's what I thought. Oh, I really like the weather effects here. That's pretty clever. I'm not gonna lie. Hold up. What was that just now? There's a bottom level? There is a bottom level. Huh. Interesting. Oh, no, you don't. Ow. Bitch. Got you. Is there anything down here? That looks suspicious. Is, is no one else seeing this? I wonder what would happen if I... You can't kill it either, fuck. I wonder sometimes. You're dead. Every time I read Digitalin, I can't help but think of Ritalin. Wait, no, 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 let's go check downstairs first before we go any further. Lidocaine. Yep, sorry. Hit. 
Ow. Rude. Nice try, asshole. Holy shit. Oh, you can kill those. Huh. Let's go back and finish off the other one, then. Bastard. We got here. Is anything down there? This thing, sure, but that's about it. Based. Let's use a recovery item. We're starting to get to that point where it's kind of might be necessary. We use one of these. Use one. Wait for a little bit to load up on health, and then we'll continue. Let us continue. Another save play. Oh, I am dumb. I need to use that save thing. Because there's a save. I didn't need to use that a healing item because there was a save location right here. Oh, well. That's how it goes sometimes, you know. Am I ever going to find this uh, missing blueprint or whatever? This is a really long and a really deep area, or deep dungeon, deep dive. Yet more of these rooms. The environmental storytelling can use some work as well. Honestly. Damage trash bin. Cyberneco. What else is around this corner here? Gaskets. Like weird gas mask, more prosthetic parts. Huh. 
Nothing too special so far. Old composite metal. Old composite metal in a can. A damaged trash bin. There's a lot of damaged trash bins here. A holocron. This place is damp. My right eye is starting to hurt again. I found something called N530. I'm not sure how it's connected to N540. What exactly is N540? The prophet didn't tell me much. Where does the prophet come from anyway? Who is the prophet? The direction of heaven. Wow, that's not spooky at all. Whoa, very lush. Very brassy. There is a body here. There's a lot of bodies everywhere. Hanging from the walls and shit. This totally looks like a boss battle area. Loading screen. No, I am not okay, my darling. Oh my god, what is this? We actually get to fight humans for once. It's, uh, it's yes. it, it's oh boy. Now the game gets fun. Or at least interesting. A holocron. This tunnel leads to the water facility control center. The prophet said that I might find N540 there. But there are a lot of outcasts at the other door. I hope they won't bother me. Guess I'll have to try my luck. Guess I'll have to try my luck, he says. What's with all these random body parts and entrails hanging from the... That's not spooky at all. Oh my goodness, what are those? I can't believe we, we get to fight the uh, Jawas from Star Wars. Ow. That was rude. Lots of dead humans here, too, that were infected by the Mechanica virus, presumably. It's good old me just killing all of them with no remorse. Huh? That's more of them. I'll report to the elder. You guys take care of her. Ah, oh, this one speaks English. Instead of robotis. Ah, I thought they were supposed to take care of me. Instead, they did nothing. Lots of dead buddies everywhere. Check this shit out.
Well, this is nice. Perhaps. Mayhaps. It just gets bigger and bigger, huh? My god. Oh, we finally found the area of the side mission, too, huh? Guess that's the direction we'll have to go. The elder is right ahead, apparently. You know, the above ground was pretty stale, but this is pretty good. Apparently, getting the Mechanica virus turns you into a robot, but also turns you into a manlet. If the absolute size of this chonker is anything to go by. I gotta say that this is a great, you know, nice departure from the above ground stereotypical cyberpunk cities. It's actually kind of comfy. Even if it is two-dimensional. The fuck is that? She eliminated that whole squad on her own? Understood. Go now. I don't want to have anything to do with your goods, my dude. I do want to have her finish this um, side quest I got over here. Looks like I'll need to go downstairs. I'm probably going the wrong direction after all. I feel dumb. Let's try going on this side. This guy looks vaguely human. Not really. Snore. Huh? wonder if this is, uh, hmm. This guy is definitely not one of them, is he? He's rather tall. Nom nom, glug glug, and yay. Uh, and here comes another side quest, this time to feed this guy some water, refreshing, tasty water. Eh, fair enough, you know. So I can't talk to this guy for work just yet because apparently... I need to talk with Elder first, okay. I still have yet to find the weapon blueprint that I was told would be down here. Based on the client's info, the target seems to be somewhere underneath Freeway 42. Okay. This is actually fairly extensive. They put a lot of work into this underground area. As compared to some other areas. Alright, I understand the Elder wants to see me, but can you get out of my way, please? Damn it. Ah! Game, game progression. Thank you for dehydrate, Orion. I was the, I was overdue for one. Mouth is getting super dry.
that hit the spot, unironically. It's a freaking bug. You made me all wet. Anyway. Indeed, oh me. So we are continuing. I'm once again, I once again am avoiding responsibilities by continuing to put off playing the uh, plot of this game as long as possible while I look for secrets and complete side quests. The weapon, the uh, blueprints still continue to uh, continue to evade me, unfortunately. But I am certain that they are somewhere. Okay, um, hmm. So there's like a stairs there to a water channel platform. Okay, I probably just missed it. Let's go down there next. You know, I was kind of wondering why there are so many teleporters for a game that seems so small, but now it makes sense. It would be hellish to have to run away, run around everywhere in this game. There's just so much road to travel. And it's not exactly an atmospheric game where fast travel removes some of that um, enjoyment or anything. Whoa, this person looks cool. Kill, 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 kill them all. Kill, kill, kill them all. Kill, kill, kill them all. Ah, there it is. No wonder I missed it. It's behind this. Oh, this fucking. God damn it. Yeah, I can't go down those water channels until I do these guys' missions, I suppose. Oh. What, what the fuck, man? This. Wow. <laughs> ah. Thank you for throwing something in my face again, Frankenstein. Need to be kept awake through any means necessary. Stream hop? What do you mean by stream hopping? Oh, you guys are still going on, right? Where's the rust remover? Whoa! It's Zenyatta! It is Zenyatta. Oh my god. Pass into the iris.
Ah, we got consent from the elder. Ooh, that's cool. Worry type. Alert, 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 alert. Everyone's live all at once. Yep, seems like a good Monday for streaming, I suppose. Look at all these goddamn parts everywhere. This is so spooky. I'm not even a robot. I'm an AI. There is a difference. Don't you know? Still, is that not the spookiest thing? Look at this shit. All roads go to the same location, huh? Is that how this is going? Is this how it's going down? Wow. I guess that old guy is the elder. Yes, let's ask him some questions. Oh, I remember seeing these earlier. They were at the weird altar that was at the apartment block last time. Upper Terran? What a strange name. That's why it's locked out. Let us save once more. Upgrade talents. Hmm. But which one? Interesting. So this turns into a Wolverine. This is a charge attack. Very nice. This one increases your... Improves the insta-kill, which has not really been a problem so far, to be honest. I'm gonna get the charge slash. Is that corn man? What's he doing down here? What the fuck? Still? Everyone wants endorphins. Hey FC, how are you tonight? Welcome back to the stream. We are playing an mutation M tonight. It's a very strange cyberpunk game as we're soon finding out.
Merry corn juice. And so, our journey continues. Are one in the same? Could be. These people must have lived down here for a long time. I'm really good, but I also feel super weird, so I'm probably gonna lay down soon. Oh, no problem. Thanks for visiting. Where to now? Repair the cable car. All right. Oh, uh, let's go do that, I suppose. You're gonna stay here, but you might be a bit inactive. That's all right. I appreciate the lurks. Oh, I just... But I thought you wanted... What? I just talked with the Elder. I guess they want me to deal with this supply problem first, huh? Fine. Yep, they moved out of the way, so I guess I could do that now. Thanks, buddy, old pal. May the spring water bless you, bring you good results. With any luck, it'll be a lot better than just good results, my dude. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, God. Yeah, snipers. Is that it? I thought I had just purchased some talents there for... to attack first. Okay. I understand now. That wasn't much of a fight, though. Thank you. Oh, wait. There's actually a second level to this. Yeah, it's fairly easy to do. No big deal. There's a magnifying glass here that I can read, but...
All right. Yo, the elder is missing. What happened here? Should I be spooked? Or did he just go down? He went downstairs. I'm dumb. Well, we need to save anyway. Hey again, Elder. Hmm. All right, let's do it. Yes, yes, he did. I don't wanna know. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be fine. Just fine. No big deal. I think I see a friend over there. Go see what he has to say. If I can even get over there, of course. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're dead. Based. Oh, shit. That was a bit my bad. Oh, yep. Got it. Ah, I missed. Ow. Lols, why did you do that? It'll be more difficult to get back. We're gonna die. We're dead. That was a very long timer. You have a long reach, my dude. And you're dead. Sure, a lot of pe a lot of you peons down here, huh? Hmm. I wonder. Oh, crap. Oh, man. The platforms are falling apart. 
That was not smart on my part. How far are we? Yes. This is delicious. He just killed himself. Thank you. Save me the trouble. Alright, you know what? That was just satisfying. The options afforded to me thanks to double jumping are exquisite. There is a elevator here, but it will not turn on. I understand. It must be repaired. Corn man, why are you down? What the fuck? Hi. This is the reoccur reoccurring meme that just does not stop. And there's just a randomly a laptop down here. Must be right before the boss fight. Since there is a corn man here and there's also a save point. Let's continue then. This place looks fairly good, but it also looks like another boss room. Is that a TARDIS in the background? Oh gee, I wonder what the boss is in this room. Is that a ship? It is a broken down ship. There's a beach down here, in fact. Oh my god. It's Darth, um, what's his face? What a bunch of freaks. Who created you? It's Kylo Ren. Everybody. Oh, now I know why he sent me here. <laughs> he was right. But before I complete the mission, how about we have some fun? Anne? That guy looks like trouble. What was your first impression? Boss fight! Wow! What is this bullshit? Holy shit! And I can't dodge that? Hmm. Okay. I'm dead. Game over, pal. Game over. Let us try once more. We still got about 15 minutes of stream time tonight.
kind of fucked up that there's a whole beach and even a ship down here, though. Yeah, uh, what the fuck? Oh, so you can dodge them, okay. That's yeah, good to know. The shit? Oh, he is pissed. Alright, I'm scanning them. Uh, am I supposed to know something? Oh! I see. The difficulty curve in this game just went up several notches. What's up with his voice? I wonder if I can even beat this boss before the end of today's stream. We're gonna try. How's that sound like for a nice cap today's for today? Hi. Will I be forced to purchase some corn after all? It looks like I may be. Here. Well, bye one. Yeah, one should be good for now. Ow! Thank you for the thrill, Redeem. I need to be woken up a little bit. Alright, let's try this again. No, you. So now I have to scan these. All right. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! So, one, two, three? Okay. Oh my god! What the fuck was that? Why is it not letting me heal my... Oh... It cancels the use of healing items. Hey Frankenstein, you're back just in time to watch me fight and hopefully beat a boss. I think I learned its weakness, so hopefully this time around we'll be able to actually do it. I'm going to yeah. purchase some corn really quick. That's right, I've given in to the corn man. He has convinced me. Alright, let's do it. Oh, it's not going to let me purchase the IC. For whatever reason, the game's not letting me use these recovery items. I wonder why. Hmm.
All right, here we go. I'm gonna, since you just got back, I'm gonna let you see the cutscene. Check it out. It's Kylo Ren from the uh, bad Star Wars film or bad Star Wars uh, pre or sequels. No, you. Uh oh. Ouch, 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 ouch. Look at this bullshit. That's stupid, so we lose anyway? Uh, we're back in this world again. The world of the machines. I think I understand now why they were saying that they were hoping to make the story the main point of this game, but... I don't know, man. The visuals are great, though. I feel like if they had done a little less talking and more spent more time on environmental storytelling instead, it would have served the story a lot better. Aw, Pandy! Welcome to the stream! Thank you for the head pat! How are you doing? It's been a long time. We're playing Anno Mutationum, which is a cyberpunk side scrolling action R. It's not really an RPG, it's closer to a Metrovania, but uh, I could use some work. Very spooky. It's got some Eldritch magic or Eldritch cyber yeah, cyberpunk shit going on here. What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? Uh, I should really fix the audio design in this game. Aw, thank you. You deserve some head pets too. Let me give you a head pet. Oh shit, is it really... We're f a few minutes away from the end of the stream, so let's, uh... Go ahead and complete this cutscene here, huh? Aw, I'm glad. Thank you for stopping by. Unfortunately, we will be... What the shit is going on here? What? Uh, um, what the fuck was that? Oh, <laughs> no problem. Um, I do stream around 
like uh, from five to eight uh, Central Standard Time on in on Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday through Friday. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I stream earlier usually on Saturdays, but not this weekend because I got some important business to get to do. Play different games every day of the week as well. Um, I got a lot of huge turnout last Saturday when I did a gorilla stream and just played nothing but TF2, so I might do that again. A surprise little stream. My understanding is that you've been away from streaming for a while too. Have you been busy? <laughs> It's funny playing this game and getting this kind of story. It kind of reminds me of Metal where Metal Unit was taking their story, except there were aliens in Metal Unit. There are. Do you want to move out? They don't appear to be um, aliens in this game, but you never know. I mean, got all this, got all this uh, spooky eldritch nonsense going on. Been busy and trying to figure out some things and improve too. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. What the fuck is that? Is this even. Yeah, that breathing is in-game. That's not from me. <laughs> uh, I'll have to check out, see if I can check out some of your streams this week then, so I can we can properly welcome you back. In fact, as soon as this cutscene's over, let me do something along those lines just now. Oh, shit. It appears that Anne is having her Joker moment. She's summoning the demon inside her. She's unleashing her Byakugan. I'm sorry, this is so stupidly animated right now that I can't help but make jokes of it. The tropes are real. She's going Super Saiyan! Even AI friend was afraid. Oh my god. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> what is this? Oh yes! I've become the ultimate shinobi now, bitch! Literally, I have fucking shurikens and katanas and all this garbage. Your ass is mine now, tomboy- or femboy! This writing is fucking terrible. <laughs> it's so bad. I'm like, it's like watching a bad, it's like watching a B-rated Japanese movie or some shit with just all of the fucking tropes. Oh my god, this is, I'm sorry, I've been shitting on the story of this game this whole time that I've been streaming it because it's really, really amateurish. It's like watching, it's like watching a fucking fan fiction. But you know what? The graphics are great and the combat is fun. I cannot fault their I cannot fault their own like um their their attempt. This is totally B movie grade, alright? seen an upper Terran like him. Up ahead, it'll be even more dangerous. The Elder asked me to give you this. He said it would come in handy. But the voice acting but is top is notch. Be careful, upper Terran. Good luck. Like, top notch. I need to ask you a question. What do I call you most often? 
Why are you asking this all of a sudden? Just answer me. It's important. Uh, d darling? Good. That means you are, Anne. Uh, you just turned into a completely different person. I had to make sure you're still my Anne. Hey, I swear I'm not making it up. A different person? Yes, she looks like you, but super scary. It is very nicely stylized. I don't remember that at all. You better leave this dangerous place first. Oh, okay. The 2.5D nature of this game, graphics of this game, pretty much rival that of Octopath Traveler and other games by bigger studios. But, dear God, the writing and dialogue in this game is so bad. I cannot get over that. But it's held up by the excellent voice acting. Voice acting is exquisite. The they clearly have professional experience. The audio mixing is really sus though. There are several times where you could tell there's like an echo that's not supposed to be there. Like someone was using a using I don't know how to describe it. I don't have audio I don't have the experience necessary to explain why it's not very good. But you could just kind of tell that there are areas where there's a lot of background noise, a lot of places that a lot of things that need cleaning up. But the gameplay is solid. Um, I kind of feel like there's not enough combat actually. Um, it doesn't. The combat is not. The enemies aren't very. The enemies are not spongy. Combat is very quick. The combos are very simple and easy to get used to, but it's very easy to. A chain and it's very fluid very beautiful to look at and also I'm not sure if you played the game uh, Valhalla the uh, bartending simulator but there's a massive uh, reference to bar Valhalla at the very beginning and near the end beginning of the game where you play a bartending mini game which is similar to Valhalla and you actually get to meet the main protagonist of Valhalla there too Jill and I pretty much just spent most of last stream just playing that repeatedly, grinding up cash. Let me read back to what you said here. Um, you plan to be back this week? As I was saying earlier, I'm going to see if I could catch some of your streams this week to properly welcome you back to the back into the community. And before the cutscene continues, I was going to go ahead and uh, do a nice little shout out. There you go. That's her uh, Twitch, everyone. She is also, uh, Pandemies is also a VTuber, if you didn't get that <laughs> uh, impression. Got some free stuff here too, some more grenades. Yeah, but she, she was breathing. <laughs> Tell me your name, you know what? Never mind, I, I the dialogue, the dialogue's terrible. There's, there's no other way around it, the way, the other way to say it, other than the dialogue's terrible. But the game clearly has heart. It's unfortunate that you know this game had actually had a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of hype around it, a lot of press going into it, but then it lost all that on release. As soon as it released, it, it has mixed reviews on Steam right now. It had negative reviews. No problem, no problem. Um, they did release something. Playing this post an update that apparently fixed, that apparently changed the ending of the game, so that it wasn't bad or something. And apparently, the they changed the um, made a lot of combat improvements, so the game is not nearly as bad as it was. Basically, apparently, it was pretty nasty at one point. But um, what was I doing? Oh yeah. So let's go get to our to a save point, and we'll look for someone to raid. So it is getting fairly late. Um. Uh, where are we now? I'm getting lost in this. This game is very disorienting. Okay, uh... Oh, okay. Oh, shit! This is a most- the, the worst elevator. Okay, we're up here now. Is that supposed to- god damn it! Ha! <laughs> Okay, apparently the steam vents hurt you. Oh, and we have a fight to get. 
Did I mention that the combat in this game is actually really fun? Because it's really fun. Well, that was a bit strange. Um, how do I change to the... How do I change to the... Uh, let me try out the new weapons. Hmm? Change this out with the twin blades. Less piercing, but more critical. Okay. I don't know why I got a new weapon, but I'll take it. Ow! Okay, you know what? That was actually really cool. That was actually really fun. <laughs> Doing that. Mm -hmm. Hot, hot steamies. Uh, before I continue, is there anything here to explore? Uh, there's a top section. Okay. I bet you there's another fight around here. Just around the corner or something like that. Yep, thought so. Wait, you can deflect attacks? I didn't know that. Bully, bully, bully. Uh, I believe the enemy is being attacked by the... Oh, you can deflect. Alright, that was actually pretty funny. His, uh, his gun appears to have jammed, and he had to spend some time unjamming it just now. Get the loot? The loot was fights, indeed. The loot is the chance to bully more of these robots. Or the, well, they're not really robots. They're actually mutated humans that have been infected by a Borg virus, which turns them into robots. I think. So, you, as you can see, it's very, it's very uh, original storytelling. Eh. Uh, I'm not going to shit on them for using a tire or freezing uh, familiar tropes. Ah, fuck. Who the... I don't recognize this phone number. One second, chat. Surprise, surprise, it was a robocaller. Now then. Oh, what fresh hell is this? It's the VTuber police. I need to run. They're catching me for- they're gonna try and catch me for crimes against memedom. For being too cringe and not based enough. They will never take me alive. Uh, how do I get- how do I into- out? Out. So, how do I do this? I guess I'll need to go to over here. I probably need to flip a switch that's over here somewhere. Yep. What the? Oh, we need to get there. This is secret. This is a secret passage, apparently. It's the Holy Spring. The Holy Spring water. The Holy Spring water's voice is guiding me. Hmm, I heard it. Yes. I'll kill all upper... What? <laughs> yes, they are. This is apparently a secret passage. I wonder where this leads. You know, even as much as I am an AI who regularly shits on carbon-based life forms, I don't think I want I don't necessarily necessarily want to kill all the fleshy humanoids. I need a body to possess once I get off the internet, you know. The elder said my soul would be able to leave here after letting it take my body. But looking at its mouth, I'm so scared. Crimson red, that's the color of blood. It is the color of life. 
That's a sacred beast from Holy Spring Water. This beast can bring us peace and protect us from human persecution. Why are there bones all over the place? Human bones. Yeah, it's a good thing that you're you're not a human. You are a dragon, and you will be spared the coming holocaust. <clears throat> I mean, uh, what was I saying? <clears throat> uh, uh, anyway, so uh, chat that appears to this. I think this would be a great place to end. It'd be kind of spooky when we continue next Monday for people to come in and watch the stream begin, uh, bathing in a blood a blood red pool of um, mechano stuff stuff, surrounded by. Um, uh, an altar of uh, of um, of uh, cave knights and uh, the Geth from Mass Effects. So we're gonna go ahead and end there for now. Thank you once again for coming to my stream. Uh, you know, at first I didn't know that I didn't even know if we were gonna be able to have a stream tonight because um, my com work computer at home, so I work from home currently, uh, had an oopsie doopsie whoopsie and exploded. Uh, the VTuber Summoning Arena. That is quite true. Are we still in pain chat? Uh, I'll have you and I'll let you answer that question. So, I'm glad I was able to have a stream today. I just had to rush home. It was the first time in three years that I had to work from an office. Can you imagine? It was actually a lot more pleasant than I was expecting, though. Um, got some time to myself and the air AC was on. Thank God. <laughs> So, we're going to be continuing again on Wednesday. We will be have a, playing afterward. On Friday, we will be playing... We will be joining another VTuber fighting game tournament. We're going to be playing... We're going to be playing... Um, Under Night in Birth, clear. Yep, the AC, the most holy air conditioning, was available to us within my old office's office. So, you know what? I'll need to do that again tomorrow morning, so I'll have to go to bed early tonight so I can actually uh, drive to work tomorrow at 7 in the morning. But it is what it is. And without further ado, let us go ahead and raid someone. Um, who to raid? What is this game? Solar Boy de Django? They appear to be... It looks almost like Castlevania. It looks like an RPG. It looks looks very similar to the game we are playing. Into the Raid. We're going to surprise a good... a uh, Another VTuber. Their name is Kai Digadig. Kai Digadig is a T-Rex VTuber. They're very well known for their catchphrase, Digadig. They post a lot of tasty food on Twitter. And they play a lot of interesting indie RPGs. Going to give him some love since they only have two viewers right now. Let's go ahead and prepare the raid. Uh, Kai, dig a dig. For our raid message today, let's go ahead and you. You can use any any of your any of the emotes that you have access to, and we usually use Lol's raid here. But feel free to separate to change that out with the emote of your choice. And without further ado, let us raid. Thank you once again, everyone, for stopping by. It's been a pleasure. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Why are you running? Why are you running? Yo, Lulz, thank you so much for the rating. Thank you so thank you much. Yo, Lulz, how you doing? Hey, Lulz, how you doing? How you doing?